Hi guys, hola mi kuyeye. Welcome to another beautiful episode of the Galbas series. In the spirits of International Women's Day, Modern Sunday, Mother's Day, I'll be doing a, 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 like an overview of what I think this whole celebration is all about. And 15 pages you should follow on social media. Preventure, you need motivation. You need someone to ginger you. You need someone to make you feel like, okay, if you can do it, I can do it. Ordinarily, if this was a vlog, I would have said, I would have introduced myself as Olamikuya, a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. I document bit by bit of my everyday life. I showcase Lagos, Nigeria to the world. Sometimes I discuss random topics or controversial issues. Oh, topics that are dear to my heart, like the one I'm doing today. Welcome. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to my channel, like, subscribe, and follow the first on my list of people you should follow to motivate you that you can be a mommy, wife, a business person, a career, a coach, or anything is Pastor Mrs. Funke Felix Adejumo. She's a mom, a grandmom. In fact, if you need to go and if you don't know her, just go and Google search who is this person. Pastor Mrs. Funke Felix Adejumo. Mrs. Mrs. Ibik Ibuk Ibiku. God, why am I speaking Yoruba like this? Ibuku Awashika. I like to follow her because from the perspective of the people who are, I mean, this woman has shared tables that, you know, when you're, when you're in the table that you're the only woman, plenty men, only you, local and international. So that's what I'm talking about. And if you want to talk about perspective from corporate world, I think you should follow her. Same as Mrs. Demory. I'm not sure Mrs. Demory is on IG, but you should read up on people like this because they will encourage you. I mean, these people have got families, they've got children, they've got grandkids, they've got businesses. And somehow they grew their career, their house and everything. And these people, when I look at them, when I just, like, for example, for the first two people I mentioned, I have videos upon videos of them. I listen to them speak, teach. They are preachers, they are teachers. I listen to them because I need to be reassured again that I can do it. So if you ever doubt yourself as a woman, and the only reason you are doubting yourself, you know you have the capability. All that is remaining is something to push you. Or you think, oh, I'm a woman. I may not be, I may not fit in. Maybe you should follow some of these names. And this particular two in question for the corporate world, <laughs> they smashed it. The next person is Pastor Midred. Pastor Midred is a She's my pastor. She's a mentor. She's someone I really appreciate. I like the energy. I like the fire. I like how she, she celebrates her husband. She has her own thing going on. Everything she wanted to become, she has become it while being a minister of the world, of the gospel, a mom, and a wife. You know, and I feel like finding a balance is the problem. Listening to people like this, I know of them have content on YouTube. Don't tell me how. Follow them on IG. They have Instagram pages. They have IG pages. Now, Toy Onigbanjo, she's the owner of something secrets. I don't remember the first name now. Yeah, mom secrets or child secrets. This food company, I don't even know how she does it, but she's been able to build a company for herself. She pitches for people, she goes to lecture them, she does a lot of things. She's a mom of three kids, she's got a husband, she's got a growing business, a ninja based business. So, guys, that is going global already. Hey, and I see here saying, Can I do it? Three children, oh, I'm not joking. She even has a baby as I'm talking to you. J Bombs. J Bombs is a fitness expert. She's a preacher of the world. She's got two kids. She's she's married. She has a business. She's, she's even an influencer. Yes. She's an influencer's influencer. And she's pushing. You know, she's doing it. She's doing it. And somehow, from a Christian point of view, I'm sorry guys, I'm a Christian. So when I see people that are doing it from that point. I'm elated. I'm excited. It makes me feel like I can do this thing and still save God. You know what I'm saying? Morenike Molen is the face behind. She has an interior company. She's a mom. She's a wife. She's a pastor. Like, her husband has a parish. She didn't parish that a pastor. All these other people I've mentioned, they are just associate pastor. But this one, they have a parish. That's, that means she's mommy yard. You get me? Mommy yard. Mom of two. International company. She travels up everywhere to do business. And telling me, you guys should just look for the right people. I'm telling you. And she preaches. She's always evangelizing for family as a, you know, as a unit that you can have it. You can do it. Also, Trisha Bees. Trisha Bees is a business coach. She likes to call, call herself sales and marketing experts. Me, I bought some of her book. Trisha knows her onions. If you see her student, you bow. 
and she's a wife she just got married to the love of her life she's killing it in the business space if you see i was it called just early this year she traveled abroad for conferences because she needed to upgrade the knowledge she has what am i trying to say by saying these things you can be everything you want to be be a wife a mom and smash your goals obi or akim that one eh can you come off many colors and she's smashing it she's smashing it she works with the government i know she used to mention where she used to work she works with the government as a lawyer she has a like a play outlet for kids in abuja where she practically does what she practically everything in charge she's the ceo like chief professional officer she's the owner and she if you see she's an influencer she's a mom of two kids she's a lawyer she's a wife she has a day job she has a side also now that one they baffle me pass and she works as a lawyer guys hey god i don't know what your excuse is anyways <sighs> bookie judge taylor bookie judge taylor some of these people too they've created they've carved the niche for themselves in their industry she's the queen of nightlife talk about restaurants sorry spaces killing it because it's a it's a it's a male dominated industry you know when you find a woman doing it smashing it you should click the button and find out how she's doing it i'm just saying okay beardo steven for the same reason that's a male dominated industry you don't find so many of them same as kemi adetiba these people have in fact that kemi adetiba she does it's not about plenty film one film eat it break record kill it on all and go on all platform make the money rest for the remaining part of the year guys what am i saying you can be a woman smash your goal follow your dream and she's getting married she just announced she was proposed to and also to remind you that delay is not denial some of these people didn't get what they wanted at the time they wanted it but everything will eventually add up bolaji billions bolaji billions is not her name i don't even know her real name i don't i call her bolaji billions because she's a small she's small but mighty just look for Bolaji Billions. Hashtag it or anything, you find her. She's a social media manager. She does a, a bunch of things for social media in on the social, social media space. Anyway, you see her Billa because she has the money. And she grew up, she grew this business from the room, from her room, from her room. I feel like that's why I added that to this thing. So I can, it can be anything from your room, from one table, one chair, and a laptop, and a phone. I think she started with her phone before she got a laptop. And now she manages, you see all those pages are seeing, most of the pages you are seeing that are thriving on ig she's the brain brain and she drops no jet for people that cannot afford that every back every now and then in case you can hear anything my baby is there that's me killing it's been a mother and a youtuber and you guys don't have a business i have an online page i also do in star logo market and i also have a personal page where i encourage people allow me queer that's me being plenty things at the same time anyways guys bolaji billion from the business point of view, Diary of a Ninja Girl. So I'm going to say a little bit story of why I like Diary of a Ninja Girl. She's actually daughter of nobody. But then she started by building a community. She's a writer. She's a storyteller. So she built a, a what's it called for herself? A group of people which just normal following on Instagram. And as usual, she started, of course, you want to read what she's writing, right? Because it makes sense. And she introduced a brand. Where she started selling i have a candles here a perfume is on this my jacket i don't know if i can show you guys if you use that perfume one month after it's still smelling she has a brand called dang dang cosmetics dang candles they sell i have their candles this is their bag here when i bought this is how they deliver and if not for anything it's the professionalism that comes with what she does for me she delivers she's she's detailed she brings in the products. She practically traveled for testing and all that. And you know, she delivers. I mean, it's the delivery deliveries for me. The way she delivers on everything she's doing. When she introduced the candle, the candle smells heavenly. If you see the home spray, God. If you see the perfumes, this then she newly she introduced the skincare line, guys. The reviews are there. The results are showing. She's single, by the way. In, while waiting for a man, she's smashing her go. Yes, Miss Wanika. This one, this, this are for the business people. Miss Wanika is the mom, and I, I don't know. I think her marriage crashed recently. Marriage is not something she used to pay someone because you all know that 
manage is two people that are willing to and it requires a lot of hard work so that's not my business and that's not the bone of contention but the business part of it guys the first time i bought from miss wanika from the website i was impressed as a person i sat down and i said if someone could sit down and think through this process my hair i won't buy you but the steps are there she went above and beyond she has a parlor for her. She has a after service. She has a packaging. That does not mean these people do not have their challenges. But I'm just saying that they are mothers. They are somebody's wife. They have a business and they are thriving. Fine Funky is a small girl that started from Balogo Market. Everything negative that happened to that girl, she turned it around and made something out of it. There was a time that Balogo Market caught fire. Her store was there. And that's how she became an online store. From there, she had an accident. And from the accident bed, she, because she was the breadwinner of her home, she could not afford to just sit on the bed in Bobby and not do anything. So from her bed, she was advertising her bag. People fell in love with the fact that she was hardworking. And right now, if she declares sales, she's selling billions. I'm not talking millions, so billions. I'm not saying you should copy people. I'm just telling you that young, old, these ones are young. They are below 30. Young, old, middle age. I've given you... The first people I mentioned, they are way above. They are in their sisters. I mean, the Funke Felix Adejumo, the Bukan Washika, the Mrs. Demory, their grandmas. The Pastor Midred, Tony Oniba and Joe J-Bombs, Morenike, their middle. You see this Buki, this Bolaji Billions, this uh, Ms. Wanika, this Fine Funky, 5K, 5K fashion as well. 5K, she started with 5K. I knew when she started because and 5K started and this girl, Tomi Kiala, they was the influence for her and now she has built the stuff from it she's a mom she's a wife she started from her house i remember when she started all her sitting room my mannequin and design you start with what you have but right now she has a store what am i saying and the last but not the least but definitely not the least to make her do you guys this girl started in fact i am very happy about our own progress and these are people that ginger me to say this also we are not turning back anytime soon also is the name of the game she started free job OAP. She would do side hustle. We watched her in Jennifer's Diary as Tanya. We watched her in what's this um this law was ever that castle and castle. We watched her progress to top producer, presenter. From there, she became presenter, she became influencer. She built her brand from zero. By herself, social media, not living a she was in school, all this thing where she was happening. I remember by the time she was serving, right? She was already a no name. She got married. She was the one I was telling you guys that. She, now, she works for a brand. Like, I don't know what she does for them, but she still works for them. And this brand, the platform capital, they allow her to come. She'll strap her baby in front and still cover events and still interview people and still prepare documentaries for them. Guys, what am I saying? I am saying that you can be anything you want to be as long as you put in the work you believe and you don't give up on yourself. As I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. That's why I have a lot of things I am doing. You have an idea, write it down. How do you monetize your idea? It's another thing we need to talk about. Monetizing your idea. You need to monetize everything you know. Five ways to monetize your idea. I'll come back on that video. I hope this video is not too long. And I hope you've been able to learn one or two things by basically sharing the, a little bit of these people for you and letting you know that you can be anything you want to be as long as you put in the work. I feel like hard work. Growing up, I had this adage my, my my primary school we used to talk about. There's no magic to success. Hard work is the answer. If you're deceived, deceive not yourself. In those days, eh, the sky used to be the limit. You see, in this time that we have, you've got to go beyond the sky. Sky. Hard work is the answer. Also, is the name of the game. As we celebrate International Women's Day, we're celebrating Mother's Day, we're celebrating Mothering Sunday. Let's celebrate ourselves. And I hope you, you're able to learn from all these people that we celebrate, we talk, we post their pictures. And know that if they can't do it, guys, for in every girl, there is a woman. Because you're going to grow to become a woman. And all we needed to do is to stand on the legacy of the women that came before us. And look at the, ourselves in the mirror and tell ourselves that if they can do it, I can do it. Guys. I don't want this video to be too long. I see you in another video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please support your girls. Subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you in another video. Love and light.